Malcolm X was the smartest uneducated. You see, Malcolm X, they could find nobody with no degree of PhD could debate him on truth. And naturally, this country can't stand truth. Now, I was lecturing the other day down in this same cellar, and a gang of little black boys came in. They held up their fists, talking about black power. I said, look, son, can, I'd like to straighten you out. I said, black is beautiful, but black isn't power. Knowledge is power. For you can be black as a crow, you can be white as snow, and if you don't know and ain't got no dough, you can't go, and that's for sure. The white man that landed here, he came with two great weapons. One is the Bible and the other was the gun. If it didn't humble you with the Bible, it crumbled you with the gun. And he's still praising the Lord and passing the ammunition all over the world. You know, the points he said about black power, I think is very, very, very important. But you have to grow and change. You can't just be caught up in the racial aspect of it. You have to, he said in the little poem he said, he said you have to, you have to know and you have to have the dough. You know, you can't just be caught up in, oh, do it just because uh, it's black. Um, so it's interesting that he ran a black bookstore. He understood the importance of the bookstore, but he also understood it's not just about the black. You know, it's, that's, that's, that's a tool. That's not the goal. Anybody can die nobly for a cause. The sign of maturity is to live day by day for that cause. And that cause is not a racial cause. It, he is here, somewhere else it's a religious cause, something, but it's, it's really just simply freedom. Okie doke.